You probably already know that the key of G is one of, if not the most popular key to play in on the guitar. This is because the notes of all six open strings in standard tuning can be found within the G major scale. Which means you can use a lot of open strings when you play in the key of G and it will sound good. If you're someone like me who gets bored easily and likes to try new things, well you get tired of playing the same G, C, E minor, and D all the time. Leave a comment if this describes you. Five minutes from now you are going to know a new way to play G, D, C, and F as well as E minor, B minor, and A minor. Now the best part about this is that we are only gonna use two shapes to make seven chords. That's right, two shapes, seven chords. So get pumped, people, because here we go. Okay, with shape one, we are going to play our G, F, D, and C chord. So let's start with the all-powerful G, which will be our highest pitch chord of all seven chords that we learned today. It's gonna be this shape here, and we're gonna use this for every other chord that we're about to play for the next four. So we've got our G chord on index 10, that's the A string, ring finger on the D string, 12th fret, open G, we're gonna have an open G on all the chords that we play today, which is what makes this work so well. And we have our pinky on the 12th fret B string. So we're only using four strings here. It really does work best if you finger pick because we're not gonna really wanna use our, our E strings for most of these. They work okay, they don't ruin it anything, but it just it turns the chord into something different. So you're gonna wanna finger pick these. That's your G chord. Instead of this, we've got this. Pretty cool, right? Holding that shape, we're gonna slide down two frets to make our F chord, which again is not really in the key of G, what is borrowed from another key, but it sounds really good when you use an open G if you play it along with these other chords that we're gonna learn. So we've got the same shape we played here, down to here, and we have All right, so that's eight, 10, open, and 10. That's your F. Technically an F with an added ninth, because that's G. All right, holding this shape, we're gonna slide down three frets to make our D. This is technically a D suspended because it has the open G string in it, but it works really well in the key of G. It doesn't work great in other keys um, because of that open G string, but Works really nice in the key of G. And here's what it sounds like. This is five, seven, open, seven. You have. And taking that down two more frets, we have our C chord. Sounds like this. Now keep in mind with this shape, there should be a fret separation between your fingers on every one of them. So up here, your fingers will be quite a bit closer together because the frets get smaller up here. So you've got your G, your F, your D and your C. Okay, this will be our shape two and we will use this for our next three chords. This is going to be your E minor chord. The shape of these two is the exact same as it was when we played our shape one, okay? So nothing has changed. The only thing that changes is what we do on the B string. So you've got seven, nine, open, and eight now. Before we had this shape with the pinky down, but with this second shape, this more minor shape, you need to replace the pinky with the fret behind it using your middle finger. And you'll hear that is your E minor. Now we'll take that shape way down to where your index is on the second fret. And you've got two, four, open, and three. This is a B minor. Beautiful chord, I love this one, with an added sixth in it because you got that open G. You could also call this a G major seven with a B in the bass, but I just call it a B minor because I like to. All right, now holding this shape, we're gonna slide down two more frets to our A minor seven, which looks like this. And you can use this in place of an A minor. Okay, now it's technically not the same shape, because but the index would get knocked off the edge here. So it's still, all right, you may have learned an A minor like this. 
but when you're coming from this key, it makes sense to just slide to the A minor 7 there. So once again, we have an E minor, a B minor added 13th, or added 6th, and an A minor 7. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now that you've learned all seven chords with just those two shapes, let me show you a progression that sounds wonderful and will help you develop the skills of switching between the chords and sounding as smooth as butter while you're playing them. And I promise you the results will speak for themselves. You will have people drooling over the sound of these chords. So this progression that you can use to practice moving between these is gonna go G chord, then E minor, F with that added ninth, D, D suspended technically, back to E minor, C, D, B minor, C, A minor seven, and then we'll go right back up to the D, and we'll play it again, and then we'll finish on G, right where we started, coming full circle. Here it is with a nice finger picking pattern. We're gonna go thumb, index, and these two together. We're gonna do that for every chord. Here it is at a nice slow tempo. So that's the key of G, played in a way that stands out from your old standard G chords. I find these chords to be fun to play. I don't use them all the time because they are very recognizable and I don't want those to get old as well, but I do mix them in from time to time just to impress my wife and kids. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe if this video was helpful for you at all, and I look forward to seeing you on my other videos.